a chiropractor, a doctor, a yoga instructor. These are professionals whose work involves a certain amount of body contact which may lead to accusations of molest. The Singapore High Court rules that any form of physical contact can amount to molestation if the woman complains. One of the situations that the instructor might have to like directly touch to the person is when the instructor wants to help the member to feel a slightly deeper the movement. If I wanted to support her, first of all, if I can go behind her, let's say she's struggling to do the weight, I would just use two of my fingers to spot her in, come, let's, let's do it once, that's it, alright? So some trainers, when it comes to certain circumstances, what they do is they bring their body closer to the female client, which is already a body contact there. Yep. There might be uh, a trouble when it, this happens. So I don't find a reason why a trainer should go any closer than this. Two fingers here is more than enough. After all, it's just one KD. That's it. Done. What some trainers does is, after the training sessions, for example, 45 minutes of training, they do another 15 minutes of so-called stretching, which comes along with the massage sessions, which is very, very wrong. From my, my point of view, a client who's really weak and wanted to strengthen up or lose body weight, I don't find a reason why they need a 15 minutes or, or massage sessions or train, uh, stretching sessions, which is eventually going to lead you into, into trouble. Definitely, like, uh, certain situations can arise where if I just go right into it, and, um, you know, the patient, particularly females, they would feel very, very uncomfortable, okay? Now, I've heard of situations before here and also in the U.S. where um, we're using our hands a lot. So, um, you know, um, maybe the hand might brush on the breast tissue a little bit where maybe the doctor didn't mean to or because of doing the physical examination he was or he, it was, you know, he brushed against it. Um, from there... You just apologize for it, that you didn't mean, to, you know, for it to happen. In September last year, a doctor was accused of molesting a hospital staff. He was said to have squeezed her breast and brushed against her buttocks. The line between appropriate and inappropriate touching is often a matter of caution and intention, as these professionals tell us. If I am working on the shoulder, and if it's like the pec major or which is the chest muscle or anywhere around the bicep area okay on the shoulder um, if I'm stretching that area uh, what I would do is this it's gonna um, it's gonna get close to the breast tissue depending on the size of the the young lady okay so what I would ask the patient to do is this I would take their opposite hand and put it over the breast tissue okay while I have my hand on the area of complaint Okay, that lets that uh, patient know that look, we're being modest. Um, also, you know where my hand is at, and also if it's especially if it's earlier on in the treatments, um, they gain that trust because you're being professional. As instructor, you should be able through visual, eye to eye, by maybe helping through you moving yourself. You saying, okay, control your shoulder, control here. That touching thing should be the last thing. But even if it does, it's just like an assist, uh, uh, assisting to the person. Your shoulder blades, pull them slightly back, squeezing a little bit, lift up, chest, belly button, take a deep breath. At the beginning of the class, it's also good to say to the members, hey, I'm gonna be maybe correcting you. If some of you is not feeling comfortable, give me a little sign and I will skip the touching, I will skip the helping. From what I see as being a professional in this industry for the past seven years, I don't see a reason why there should be a body contact within the trainers and the clients. If, if, a, if a trainer wants to take an advantage, they can take an advantage in any way. So from what I do is we hardly have body contacts in any of our workouts. If there is any kind of body contact, we just use two fingers. Say I'm, I'm training her now, I want her to feel it over here. So I just have to use two fingers, are you feeling it over here? That's it. There should be no, no other body contacts, just two fingers. The key to making clients feel safe is following a proper code of conduct. Next up, we speak to women clubbers who review their brushes with molesters.